Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and it's a, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to stand up and uh, actually make a few comments on uh, Bill 16, the Traffic Safety Distracted Driving Amendment Act 2010. Uh, Mr. Chair, I had the honour uh, speaking in favour of the bill when uh, the member from Calgary Hayes first brought this forward to, uh, in the legislature, uh, I think it was probably about a year and a half ago. And I, I spoke in favour of it because of the fact that when he brought the uh, bill forward, I supported it then and I, and I support it now. And in that um, time was that when I was debating, I uh, spoke about some of the th things that I had encountered as I drive uh, Highway 2 every week uh, to fulfill my roles as the MLA for Calgary Fish Creek. And I was also, um, at that particular time, a member of the Progressive Conservative government and, and uh, went through all the debate on this particular piece of legislation and uh, the government not supporting this piece of legislation. So I am actually going to give them some credit by coming now and bringing this piece of legislation forward and recognizing the severity of the problem and the seriousness of it. And I, you know, it, it disheartens me when I think about all of the accidents that have occurred in the time wasted uh, uh, not bringing this piece of legislation forward. What I want to talk about where I have some concerns, Mr. Speaker, is uh, under Section 115.4, when they talk about uh, the, um, that no, the subject to the section and the regulations made under Section 115.5, no, individ no individual shall drive or operate a vehicle on a highway while engaged in an activity that distracts the individual from the operation of the vehicle, including but not limiting to, and then they talk about reading or viewing printed material, writing, printing, or sketching, which makes perfectly sense to me, engaging in personal grooming or hygiene. So my... <clears throat> Spidey senses start going off when I read something like that, and you know, you, you talk about clarity in legislation, and so for me, one wonders what personal grooming or hygiene is. And hygiene can go any way. I mean, that, um, blowing your nose if you have to drive uh, down the highway? Is it putting some lip balm, um, driving? It, it just, to me, it's just, you know, just not clear enough. And then they go on to say any other activity that may be prescribed in the legislation. So I have a, a big question mark by that because of the fact that I, you know, what are they talking about any other activity? It could be a host of other things. What I would have liked to have seen in this particular legislation, um, Mr. Chair, is letting our wonderful law enforcement agencies make those decisions without having all of these one, two, three, four. I had a great privilege of uh, being the Solicitor General um, several years ago and have had a huge amount of respect for the law enforcement uh, agencies, uh, the police, the RCMP, the sheriffs that work in this province on a daily basis and under very, very uh, times, life-threatening situations. So, you know, I think it's more important, as far as I'm concerned, when we start listing out these, is to let the law enforcement agencies make the decision. So Heather's driving down the highway. She decides to um, grab her lip balm and put it on her lips. Is, is that distracted driving? I can tell you, uh, and, and I spoke when I was speaking on this particular piece of legislation uh, that the member from Calgary Hayes brought forward, I can remember one time driving down the highway and I passed a driver, had a coffee in one hand, had a cigarette in, in, in another hand, had the cell phone and still somehow managed to give me the birdie as I was driving and I thought, well, you know, you talk about octopuses, that definitely was an octopus when you can do all of those things at once. So, since this legislation was brought forward, I have paid particular attention to some of the things I watch and I see as people are driving. And quite frankly, that is distracted driving when I'm watching what, every, uh, what other people are doing uh, to try and get an idea of what distracted driving is. So I thought, geez, Heather, you know, you're, you're looking at what other people are doing as a distracted driver and you're watching to make sure so that you have some points in regards to 
what other people are doing to be distracted driving. And, and Mr. Chair, I've seen a host of things over the last few weeks when I've been driving down Highway 2, and I'm sure everybody in this assembly can share what they consider uh, a story. I mean, my colleague uh, from Glenmore, and I'm sure he'll elaborate about how he was driving, and he wished he had a video camera when he saw uh, one of our a colleague. Not one of us, but a colleague driving down Highway 2, uh, and I'll let him elaborate, a cell phone in one hand, uh, pop in the other hand, and, and driving with their knees down Highway 2. And I still have trouble actually trying to even visualize that concept or figure out how that... Obviously you weren't listening. That's what she was saying. The, uh, Vote against the bill, Ray. Vote against the bill. The, uh, what, what's his, who is he now? I don't know, Minister of something. The Minister of uh, something was uh, making some comments and uh, uh, Lac Labish St. Anne, no, is that where St. Lac Labish St. Paul had some comments to make on, on the distracted driving, so I'll look forward to him making his comments uh, during this debate on the legislature. You know, social media is a wonderful tool. And we saw what happened recently with the mayoral campaign and how he utilized the social media. So, you know, I'm old, Mr. Chair, and I'm trying to get used to all this social media, this Facebook, this Twitter. So I thought, well, why don't we just engage the public on Bill 16? So you put the message out on your Facebook saying, debating Bill 16, give me your comments. I Twittered that, and I was overwhelmed at the comments that I got back from people. And, you know, it's just a sample that people are paying attention to what's happening in this legislature <clears throat> because we provided a link. And <clears throat> I have comments that were posted on my Facebook. I had comments that were posted to me um, directly. And, you know, people say, you know, they, they ask all sort of thing. They say, you know, here's one from one of the Facebook messages. Truth is, drivers are distracted just by driving. Too many times looking at the scenery and a non enough attention to what is going on the road. The fewer distractions, the better, especially on high speed roadways like Queen E2. And that's where I see all of these distracted drivers uh, when I'm driving. We had, uh, and I'm sure everybody in the House has received a, uh, an email from the students at the School of Public Health uh, at the University of uh, Alberta, and they're doing a paper in regards to. Uh, this particular piece of legislation and, you know, they emailed and they said they wanted to know, first of all, if we supported Bill 16, which we do. Uh, and then they went as far as to say, well, do you support hands-free cell phones? 